what's occurring is a transmutation of existing energy fields and a collision of photons at 90 and 180 degrees and the production of new forms of energy fields. You know, some call scalar fields, but there's more than that going on. And it uh, would definitely have an effect on all forms of energy. And of course, since everything is energy, including people, it would definitely have an effect. And you can see that the normal 60 cycle pump that you find in the surroundings from electrical circuits um, have been transmuted. There is no longer the 60 cycle hum, which is detrimental to health, and it's been transmuted to other frequencies. And uh, so, uh, this is revolutionary technology that uh, needs to be you know, further explored for its potential you know, for healing. And, uh, but this is this is amazing. Okay, what the test equipment is doing, there is a pickup coil that picks up all uh, electromagnetic fields, you know, in the surroundings. Um, and this is an oscilloscope, which then translates the electromagnetic fields that are picked up into a picture of what's going on. Now normally you would see a 60 cycle pattern in here from all the electrical equipment. It's extremely sensitive. And so you would see a continuous 60 cycle in here. And you notice that it's not here, which is, according to most physics, impossible. What's happening is the 60 cycle interference, which is actually detrimental to health, that energy is somehow being absorbed by something and its frequency is being totally shifted. And some of the frequencies that I'm seeing here are the same frequencies that uh, this bone healing unit that I showed you earlier utilizes. So I would say that some of the frequencies associated with sacred healing sites are being produced. And the interesting thing, it's taking contaminating energy from the surroundings and changing it into beneficial energy uh, patterns. Um, and probably to the typical scientist, this would look like some sort of unexplainable magic but it's just physics at a very high level. Well, if 60 cycle home were present in the room, mm -hmm. and without this equipment turned on, you would see 60 cycle home right. across here. With the, your equipment on, there is no 60 cycle home. But you were saying it was taking that and breaking it. It's taking the energy, and it's performing complex electronic tri tricks. To take 60 cycle and convert it into another frequency, first of all, you have to convert it into direct current. Instead of alternating current, you, direct current is like a battery. Mm -hmm. And direct current uh, does not have a detrimental effect on life forms. 60 cycle causes magnetic particles within your body cells to flip back and forth 60 times a second. The Earth's magnetic field is about eight cycles per second. So your chemistry is adopted, has evolved, to use the Earth's eighth cycle per second as a time impulse, just like in a computer. And it's very important. If you didn't have the timing pulse, your chemistry would just become so scattered you'd eventually die. And uh, just like a computer needs a timing pulse, your body needs a timing pulse to make sure all the chemistry um, is sequenced in the Does proper manner. About that? Is sequenced in the proper manner. Um, now, when you're in the presence of a 60 cycle field, this flipping back and forth is up in the high stress range of a cell. 
because they don't operate at that frequency. Cells don't operate at that frequency. So you're stressing the cell, which suppresses your immune system and eventually causes a collapse in your health. Okay. So what's important here is it's taking alternating electromagnetic fields, 60 cycle, and it is performing these complex electronic tricks that require a lot of electronic components. But there are no components. The energy itself is at work. And it's converting it to direct current and then changing the frequency to a higher frequency that you normally see, see in uh, some of the healing medical equipment. Um, but I imagine what's confusing to a lot of scientists is they look around and they don't see the, the transformers and the rectifiers and all of the other components that it takes to do this. It's like magic. It's, you have this detrimental energy and suddenly it's not detrimental. And you can't see how it's being done. It's invisible. You know? And you know, when you look at the equipment, you see a collision of photons. And of course, when energy collides with energy, like at Fermi Labs or CERN, where they have the ring and they collide beams, you get all sorts of interesting things because energy is released, which then becomes other forms. And you know, it covers the entire spectrum. So, um, what you have here is something that's sweeping the entire spectrum. So, whatever a person's pattern is, whatever their own bioelectric field and complex electronic patterns are, it's sweeping across in a beneficial manner. And uh, now, up to 40% of the food you eat in the area you breathe is converted into electrical activity in the body. And what happens is things like salt and potassium, the ions are separated and it creates a charge, just like you charge a battery. And your cells charge and discharge at a maximum of 30 times per second. That's why the upper limit of frequencies your cells can handle is about 30 times per second, because that's the maximum charge discharge rate. And then they're pushing it. So to be pushing your cells at 60 cycles per second, like living under a power line, is stressing all of your cells and suppressing your immune system, which then causes all the other problems. And what you can see here is a complete elimination of the 60 cycle pulse that should be present to a very strong degree in this room because of all the electronic equipment that's in there and the power cords and everything else in there. And so as I mentioned, normally you would see the 60 cycle across here and there is none. It should be there, but it's not there. Instead, you have all these beneficial frequencies and then you see these little points over here and that re represents a collision of energy fields and the creation of entirely new types of energy. Mm -hmm. so, I did too what happens to see what happens with the fields if we just, just energy.